All right, have and have not fans. I know it's been a while since I've done consistent videos. You know where I do like, oh man, Jeremy done uploaded six or seven videos. Well, Friday, everything is kind of slowed down. Laundry's done, took a nice shower, cleaning's done. I got about 35 items that sold on eBay today. So that's great. So I'll be, you know, spending some time shipping those things up or at least getting them ready for shipping soon. Uh, fingers crossed we don't get snow tomorrow. It looks like we do have some in the forecast for tomorrow afternoon. But aside from that, you know, a pretty nice Friday. Pretty nice Friday. And, you know, I just wanted to talk about a couple of, you know, lighthearted things. It's the day after Valentine's Day. Go out, get some candy, get yourself a bear or a sloth. Apparently sloths are a Valentine's Day thing now. But this video is a bit of a sour note. Um, went on Instagram today, uh, A-Series sent me this message. And ironically enough, he sent me uh, these photos in the caption about five seconds after I actually saw it on Instagram myself. Uh, Quinn Waters, a.k.a. Gia, she's gone from the show. Gia is not returning. I was kind of upset about that because I always figured, well, I mean, I thought she would at least come back for a couple of episodes or something, but she's gone. Um, yeah, so A-Series actually messaged, well, commented on her photo, when is Gia coming back? Oh, Gia was laid to rest last season. Her work with Candace came to an end. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I even did a couple videos talking about when is Gia coming back? Is Gia going to work with Rocky and Broderick to take out, take down Catherine? And I said that in terms of her role with the actual plot of the series, it wouldn't make sense for her to even be there for Candace anymore because if Candace is linked up with Charles, we're talking, you know, the president elect secret service the fact that charles has at least what three or four floors of the hotel secured just for himself and candace so gia wouldn't be able to approach her even if she wanted to i mean the best she could possibly do would be at the bar area and that's only if secret service weren't around but i would highly doubt that the only time gia should have came back i think gia should have at least come back after you know Candace and Charles had their falling out after coming back from the hospital. She was at the bar talking with Rocky and Broderick. I thought that would have been a moment she would have came up, but no. So, like I said, my theory video was, you know, hey, um, what if Gia worked with Rocky and Broderick to bring down Catherine? Because as an informant, you know, she could at least try to get to the root of the prostitution ring kind of thing because she was planted in the hotel to get information about that as well as pin Candace for the Quincy Maxwell murder. But uh, that isn't the case. I, I guess it makes sense because I wondered why in that epi the last episode she appeared in, she was like wearing all black and everything. I'm like, is that a sign that she's possibly going to be killed off or something? But no, uh, Gia is gone. And that's really sad because um, based off her caption, I'm guessing because, you know, like flash black flash back uh, Friday, she was posting photos with uh, herself and John Snyder as well as behind the scenes stuff. And the caption said, let me get it real quick. Missing you, John Snyder. We had so much fun on set. See you soon. And, you know, just based off that, I'm thinking, oh, is this a sign that she's coming back soon? And I, honestly, if a series didn't send me the caption where it says she isn't coming back, I was fixing to get ready to do a video saying, oh, wow, John, um, we're probably going to see Gia again. But nope, nope, no more Gia. So with that being said, folks, you know, thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you have any let me know, are there any favorite Gia moments when she was on the show? I think, I think, she, I mean, honestly, I think she was one of the most wasted characters ever to be introduced into the show. I remember saying this before we got the news that she was an informant saying that, okay, Gia better be somebody who's planted there or something. She better have a secondary role because right now she's, one of the most useless characters to be introduced in the show. And last season was very notorious for introducing so many new characters for no apparent reason. But I, I'm just, you know, I'm not like furious or anything like I am in terms of if loving you is wrong being moved around. But I'm more like, are they really like, it, it's almost like the if loving you is wrong syndrome where characters just disappear for no reason at all. And I mean, some people are saying, you know, oh, what if Gia got pregnant by Benny? Or what if Gia comes back to hook up with Benny? Or No, none of that's happening. Gia is gone. 
gone, gone. But we will see a lot of Quinn um, because I do believe her and RK are in the upcoming film on Medea Family Funeral. So we, we might see them soon. Uh, I mean, she did tell John, you know, I'll see you soon. So maybe that means um, they'll be doing press tours as a big group, you know, promoting the Medea Family Funeral, have and have not. I, I don't know. I'm just speculating here. But yeah, um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, we can go from there. And I don't know. Maybe we'll get news on the fate of RK and Sarah soon, too. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you all in the next video.